soccer team hosting St. Pius. Maya Fetbu will tie it right there. Ties it up at two, and Notre Dame had some chances to try to win this thing in regulation and in overtime, but couldn't get it done there. And then St. Pius wins it in a shootout. Uh, they won it was 2-2, and then they win it in the shootout. Uh, that's the bottom line. Jackson girls soccer team beats Popper Bluff 2-0. A big day for the Popper Bluff uh, golf team at the Melville Invitational. They win, and Lawson Barks claims medalist. By the way, Jackson finished second and Dexter third. A new era begins for the Three Rivers College men's basketball team. Three Rivers' uh, Robert Kirby takes over as head coach. Uh, Brian Bess, who served as the head coach for the past four years after being served, after being the longtime assistant under his dad, Gene Bess, he's a Naismith Hall of Famer, 50 years, incredible. Now back to Robert Kirby, played on the 1979 Raiders National Championship team, inducted into the Three Rivers Hall of Fame in 2020. Kirby most recently served as an assistant coach at Kennesaw State, two years at Ole Miss, and five years on Patrick Ewing's staff at Georgetown. Kirby is recognized as one of the top recruiters in the nation by some services. Three Scott County Central student athletes signing on to play college basketball today. Reagan Evans, the first to sign with Cotty College uh, for the women's team. They're next up. Uh, Namarius Banks Warren signs on with Missouri Valley College. Awesome to see them getting the applause that they're getting and much deserved for sure. And the third Scott County Central standout, this guy worked his tail off for everything he got. Asher Britt signs with Quincy University. So hey, how does it feel to be at a chance to play at the next level? I've always wanted to play college basketball since I was younger, so the fact that I finally get to, it's really exciting. I mean, it's a dream come true. I've been thinking about this since I was like six years old, watching my brother play. It just feels like all the hard work's paid off and that I can just continue my basketball career and just keep the ball rolling. Congrats and good luck to these outstanding Scott County Central student athletes. Administration did a great job with the event. SEMO basketball team signs junior college transfer Troy Cole Jr. from Highland Community College in Illinois. Cole Jr. is a 6'5 wing, was the Cougars' top scorer last year, 16 points per game. And SIU basketball coach Scott Nagy gets his first commit. The Salukis get a big guy, Jaheim Weber. He's a 6'10 center out of Normal, Illinois. Weber, by the way, averaged 10 points and six rebounds, played at the biggest school that you could, and did quite well. We're going to take a timeout and finish it up after this.